Hey, Scrap Mechanics, what's going on? Drax here. <clears throat> Back again in another episode of, you guessed it, Scrap Mechanic. And today we are messing around in the quote unquote facility. Whoop, you got a little sneak peek if you were paying attention to the screen right there. We are going to be working on a few things. And one of the things that I want to work on today is a palette. Uh, one thing I want to try, let's go ahead and lower that down all the way. One thing I want to try today is I want to make a wooden pallet that will assist me in moving some of the items that I need to have moved. Um, so one thing that I want to do, let's actually go ahead and delete that, delete that. Uh, we'll come up to there. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Come up to there and then we'll build this across. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, five, yeah, that's good. All right, um, and now that's no longer gonna work, so we'll have to take that, and then we get to place it up on stilts. So now, if I go ahead and I come under here and under here, that should be well enough to uh, lift anything that we need to lift. We'll just come back probably about there, I think. And we'll do the same over here, and then we'll close that up, take that back down. Um, do one of these, do one of those. Actually, I think I want it to be one longer. How, how long is this? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So I actually wanted to be one shorter. That was right the first time. We'll take a grate over to there and then we'll get a grate over to there we'll lift it back up and then we'll put in support there support there support there support there all right so that is our pallet so let's see if we can pick up the said pallet i hope we can oh look at that oh <gasps> Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness. We picked up a pallet. Oh, it gets, it gets kind of stuck. All right. So now we need to load some materials onto said pallet because you know, pallets, they have to have a purpose in life and their purpose in life is to haul stuff, right? So let's go ahead and stack some stuff on this pallet. We'll just kind of stack it around like this. Um, actually go back to this. My, my key bindings are all messed up for some weird reason. Um, take that away. We'll kind of stack them up on there like that. And I, I just kind of want to see like what the weight that this thing will hold. All right, so we're kind of needing some more weight on this thing. Just a little bit. All right. Um, All right, so here is it. Um, I actually, oh wow, oh oh, stopping. Oh, yep, we're stuck. All right, so I had to, I had to give myself. Uh, oh no, oh no, it tilted over. Put it back. All right, so we need a little bit more weight in the uh, the hind end of this vehicle, so we don't have um, any like um, what you call it. We don't have anything really giving us any weight back here you know no support or anything so we'll just kind of fill all that in we'll fill this in there's no springs or anything that we have to worry about because you usually don't see that uh in vehicles like this so let's see now thing turns terribly but you know forklifts i get well i guess forklifts actually turn really well We got this. We got this. All right. Get a little bit of lift. Well, that's all right. Well, there's no like real, uh, any, any real control. Um, well, not, not, not control, but you know, um, this is, it's not a bad forklift. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little impressed. Um, I will drop it down here and we'll back up out 
And I want to see if we can add something. To, oh, no, we couldn't do that, could we? I, you know what this game really needs? Like, something that I personally would really, really, really want to see is um, some sort of hinge. To where I didn't have to do like this and then like this to get something to come up. Uh, if I could just have something that would just tilt at an axis like this, I would love to see that. Um, that would be one of my biggest things that I want to see. But what we need to do is to get ready for our next little project, uh, we do need to move this thing kind of out of the way. So let's just take it over here, and then we'll, we'll park it kind of near um, our spot. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to head outside, and we're going to head over to our next project. Way over there in the distance, you can see it. Uh, the world is already suffering from frame rate, like already, and there's not very much in this world yet at all. Uh, but I do plan on getting kind of a lot into this world, so there's that. Uh, so what we're building over here is another version of a semi-truck. Uh, you guys had a lot to say about my previous semi-truck. It's actually one of my v most viewed videos on my channel right now is my semi-truck. And so I wanted to do you guys uh, some justice, and I wanted to, to kind of remake it here. And it's not wide enough on this side. Hmm. All right, well, let's get rid of everything on this side. Oh, no, no, that's not right. Uh, it is still made out of wood, um, only because that's the lightest material, and doing shocks or anything with any heavier materials is actually really tough. Bam, and then uh, we'll just kind of drop it down just a little bit more, and then we'll come inside here, and I'll just kind of take everything out. Shouldn't be too tough here. All right, and then I'll put my lights back up here in the corners. All right, so there we go. <clears throat> uh, one, well, look at this little bit that I left. Oops. Okay, so there we go. We have our our um, our semi trailer. We can go ahead and put a door on it, and that door, like uh, we showed, can actually have a nice little switch here. Um, and one of the bad things about this, the uh, the functions that I'm going to add into a vehicle like this. Uh, is that we can't really have um, the, the controls for it up in the main truck. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. Once once you see what I'm about to do, uh, you'll, you'll kind of know what I mean by that. But I am going to go ahead and drop this underneath here, and then we will go ahead and attach it to there and attach that to that. And then we're going to go 90... 105? Yeah, 105 might be good. Drop that off. Yeah, 95 actually seems like it's going to be a really good height once I put the wheels on this thing. Um, okay. So let's put everything back up. We'll put it back on the lift. And what we'll do from here is we need to add in our shocks. So right about... I'm thinking like right about here... So we'll add a block in there, and I need to add these shocks back, um, and I also need the big wheels, uh, and I also need these corner pieces right here as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, all right, so big wheels keep on turning. Yep. Yeah. Like so, like so, and like so. Very nice, very nice. All right, and then we can get right up in here. We'll kind of do the same thing. Oh, I need that wooden block. Just like that. Get that put in. Like so. All right, and then we can put our, our mini wheels on the outside here. Now, uh, we had four different, so one, two, three, four... Delete, uh, one, two, three, four, delete, and we'll just put our little sections up here, 
boom, boom, oh, hey, 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 boom, got that one, got that one. All right, so the wheels do stick out much further than the rest of the vehicle, but that's okay. Oh, feel the lag. And that's not even that big of a vehicle, in my opinion. Like, feel it. Holy cow. Man, oh man, I don't know what. I don't have any idea what I could have done to cause that. Let's go ahead and put this back on the lift for a second here. Yeah, as soon as that... Oh man, it's just... Is that too many blocks? Just as soon as you do that, holy cow. Holy cow. All right. Well, one thing we'll do here is we will close that door again. We're going to try and drive it, see how she drives. Oh, uh, at this current junction, we can't actually drive it. So let's open the door back up. Let's get out. We are going to have to make some adjustments here. Okay, yeah, as soon as that gets placed, man, it's a totally different game. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is I actually have a little adjustment in here I need to make. Um, we need to have this hit the ground kind of right when, you know, it comes off. And then we're going to try something. All right, so now... Okay, and then I should be able to go right here, take that block out, uh, excuse me, I said take that block out. All right, so now, if I'm not mistaken, this should all be freestanding. So now if I get in the truck, geez, I can't believe how slow this is feeling. All right, so let's let's go ahead and try and take off here. Um, I don't know how it, it should be disconnected. Like, it should be completely disconnected. Oh, yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom. Well, I'm zoomed out as far as I can be. All right, not bad if you ask me, not bad at all. Like the, the game is definitely uh, lagging a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's actually get out of here. And I'm gonna take this truck and I'm gonna run it back over here. And I wanna try something here. I don't know, I don't think we're going to take the whole truck with us, um, but we shouldn't have to. Awesome, yeah, it's just that part. Okay, so what we're going to do is we will throw this in, and then we're going to throw these on. And so we're going to know that we need to come down to right there on either side. So all the way down, just like that. Okay. And I'm going to put another controller in, but I'm going to put this one a little, uh, well, you know what? I'll put this one up here. doesn't really matter. Kind of put another button on there. And so this will actually control both of these. And so what we'll do is we'll swap these. Uh, and we know they both need to be at a positive 90 by default and then when we press the button we want them to go a negative 90 by default okay all right so that's default and they stand up and sit on it just like that awesome 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 okay so with this being technically a separate vehicle from the one um let's go ahead and hit that 
you know what? I should actually have this the other way. I should have them defaulted down. Uh, let's take that off. Yeah, let's have that go positive 90. That way when it's taken off the lift and then we can put it on the lift. Okay. And then in the back there, we can see that if we hit this button too, the trailer comes down. All right. So now we can run back over here. We can grab the truck and we're going to try and back this up. I have, you guys can see the little hitch on there. I, I don't know how well it's going to work because it's actually going to be really tough to drive. Um, let's close that door. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it to our best ability. And this will be our delivery truck for the facility. So let's go ahead and open. Oh, that's actually looking like it's going to line up perfectly almost. Oh, it's pushing it. Close it in. Maybe that'll help it come in. Awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, yep, yeah, let's get out. Let's go ahead and uh, come on. Let me out. Um, I said, let me out. I said, let me out. Yeah, the FPS, I mean, this is really hard to watch, and I apologize for that, guys. Um, so, yeah, there it goes. The, the trailer is completely uh, supported by the truck. And now we can... Head off into the wild blue yonder, and uh, this truck, it's actually too tall for the doors over there right now, but uh, this is pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Um, I think this is a way better semi-concoction than what I had in the, in the last time. The thing does not handle hills very well, but what semis do. But yeah, that's not bad. Like, not bad at all. All right, guys. Well, if you have any other suggestions so far for the facility or have any ideas why the world has uh, dropped down to what it has, uh, I would really like to know. And uh, But for now, my name is Drax. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Brum, brum.